Hey guys, it's MA15 Tech and I'm going to show you how to transfer your Minecraft save files on a Mac. I'm also going to be showing you where your save files are located. So let's get started with that. First you want to go to your Macintosh hard drive. Then you want to go into your users folder. Into your little house, which for me it's Max Anderson. I want to go into your library, application support, then you want to scroll down all the way until you find your Minecraft folder. Then in here, this is where all your texture packs, saves and resources are stored. But for this tutorial, we will be using the saves folder. Now over here, I have my Skylands folder, which is a really cool um kind of mod for the game. It gives you like a floating world for you to explore and build bases in. You know, just like Minecraft except floating, avatar style, I guess. So in here we have, you know, all this and then the world. Now this is what we're going to be copying into our saves folder. Now when you're copying saves from like another computer, all you have to do is locate the same folder find these folders, copy them onto some kind of um, USB stick or something and then you want to make sure it's labelled something else other than World 1 or World 2 or whatever worlds you are using at the moment and then copy it in and you're good. So at the moment the Skylands world map is called World. So for me, I would call it World 3, not 1 or 2, because those are already being used and I don't want to trash my extremely important save files. So all you have to do really is just grab the file, drag it in. And there you have it. It's right in your saves. Now, I'm going to prove it to you that it works by actually opening up Minecraft and just showing you this Skylands thing. Now, I have to warn you that the Skylands folder takes a long time to load like not very long not like 15 minutes but it takes much longer than a normal minecraft save file because well the map is so big so let's just wait for the mojong things to disappear when we go into our single player and voila we have our world free 7 megabytes and 12 mini megabytes or whatever that's the skylines map and I'll come back to you when this is done, so let's just go pause. And after about one minute of winning, we're waiting for the simulating world for a bit part of loading, and then we are on. So anyway guys, you know it works, you know we know how to transfer save files now. And that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find it helpful. Comment, rate and subscribe for me please.